Hey guys, so today I thought I would do a meet my parents video because I don't know if you guys have ever seen my parents. Merry Christmas! This is my mom and this is my dad, AKA Fadre. I think they could figure out who was mom and who was dad, <laughs> but that's okay. Good to introduce us. What was that? What was that laugh? Sorry, I'm happy and <laughs> having a good time. So usually my mom just makes fun of me when I laugh and so I just usually cry in my room. No, 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 no. Usually you hate your videos because you're like, why do I laugh so dumb? So I'm just trying to I always you. laugh dumb. I can't help it. That's just my well, laugh. I just reminded you, don't do that. <laughs> Was that one okay? <laughs> So today, I thought I would ask my parents modern day terms and like lingo that the kids use and see um, how hip and cool they are. So first we're going to start off with some of the modern day terms and see how many of you guys can get right. We got okay. this. Yep, we're good. What does on fleek mean? Like, mom, your eyebrows are on fleek today. Like, they're, like, they're just like so good. Awesome. Like, you're on point. Do you know what ship means? It doesn't make sense. Dad? No. If you had to guess. Ship. For example, I ship you guys. Think that we're awesome. Mm, kind of. Something like guess. that. I can't remember. It means that if you want two people to be together, it's like a romantic relationship. You ship you them. You ship them. Yeah. If you're asking us to give you the definitions, we should be able to ask you who thought up these crazy things. Ship? I ship them. I ship them? Ship doesn't, them off into the wild blue yonder. Doesn't that sound totally ridiculous? All right. Yeah. So, since you guys love these terms, do you know what bay means? Well, let's go with dad first because I feel like <laughs> let's mom Let's go with knows. mom. <laughs> I don't know. I do not know. For example, Netflix is bae. Or cookies are bae. You guys are bae. You're my bae. My bae good. gets me. I guess that's a good thing. Chocolate and teddy bears for Valentine's Day. Bae is an acronym. B-A-E. Very amazing. Very? <laughs> Yeah? Any guesses? Bow and... Bow. Error? Bow and arrow? No, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, bay means before anyone else. So your bay is you like your significant before other. Before anyone else. All right, next. Do you know what squad means? The squad. Mod. Squad. What is no, they have, she has no idea what that means. <laughs> okay, like, for example, if someone's like, oh my gosh, squad goals. Squad goals. Team goals. Like I'm getting like together with my homies? You're making goals. <laughs> My squad. The squad is like your group of people you hang out with, like your homies. Okay. That's what I said. It's like My your boys. team. It's the squad. Okay, it's yeah, the yeah. mod squad. I don't know. No. Don't say that. <laughs> what <laughs> is that? And then goals. Do you know what goals mean? Goals. Like if you posted a picture of this tree, people would be like, hashtag goals. Like setting goals for the new year. No. No. <laughs> So or there's two if, meanings for goals. Or if like people saw you guys as a couple, they'd be like hashtag goals. That does not make sense. Dad, any Like G-O-A-L-S. Yes. Okay, somebody's making up a totally new definition for that word then. <laughs> <laughs> goals is like something you wish or want or like look up to. Yeah, you set a goal and you try to achieve it. Mm, it's a little different though. Mm -hmm. Hashtag goals. How would we be goals? They want to be like us. Yes. No. 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 People aspire to be like you. If your eyebrows are on fleek, people would be like, hashtag goals. Cause it's like- Okay, that kind of makes sense. <laughs> Do you know what or nah means? Or not. Or not. Nah. If you ask a question, it's like, do you want to make cookies or not? Nah? Or not. Which or means? Or nah. No tea. Or not. Nah. Eat <laughs> So it's a way of saying no? It's like, do you want to do this or not? Nah? Or not. Nah. Or not. Nah. Nah. Sound like a toddler. <laughs> or not. Nah. I think most of these not, phrases- Not, honey, it's or not. <laughs> I think most of these phrases originated in prison when uh, the guards would ask prisoners questions. they say, so do you guys want to go out to the yard? And they'd go, or nah. <laughs> I mean, it's very likely. It's possible. And it took years for the guards to figure out even what they meant. It's nice they shortened that and took a T off the end. Okay, what does slay mean? Slay the dragon. No. <laughs> like you killed it? Yeah. Nope. Yes. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. That is that's, what it means. You're going to slay it. You're going to like... Let's go out and slay this. You're going to do it. <laughs> you're going to triumph. You're going to win it. Like, if you see a picture of your idol, you'd be like, slay, or queen bee, slay. <laughs> Another prison terminology. <laughs> queen bee, slay. <laughs> what does that mean? Like, you're killing it, like, yeah. on top. Yeah, slay, that's what we just said. No, we no not, not exactly the same. <laughs> kind of. No. Yeah, this is a good one. I can't even. I can't even. Wait, mm -hmm. how do you talk like a belly girl? How do I talk like a belly girl? <laughs> 
I don't. I can't even means I can't even do it. I can't even fathom or comprehend. Overwhelmed, yes. Yeah. I can't even. I can't Ugh. even deal with this right now. It's a thing, Dad. It. It's I a thing. Talk about it. Okay. Honey, I can't even go there right now. No, you like, don't. Just, you don't finish the sentence. No, I can't even. You're I can't saying, even. You're, you're saying too much. See, prisoners are on a limited amount of time, <laughs> so they have to just shorten up what they're saying. I can't even. Do you know what FOMO means? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's down at the bottom of like brochures. They'll talk about the item and then they'll say FOMO. <laughs> For more information, FOMO. click here, FOMO. FOMO information. <laughs> FOMO. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. But you take the R's off. It is fear of missing out. Huh, well, I guess it could go that way too. You know what low-key means? Low-key <laughs> means you're really low-key and you're quiet and nobody notices you and you're just are subtle and you're just low key about something. Okay, how would you use it in a sentence? <laughs> Santa Claus is real low key when he comes down the chimney. I don't think it's low key, it's low key. Uh, sounds to me like what just another you, word for crazy. How would you use it in a sentence, Dad? Us doing this video is really low key. Low-key? Hokey-dokey low-key? Nopey! Nope. Okay, what is the new meaning of low-key? Low-key would be like, low-key, he's really cute. How no. would I use it in a sentence? Um... You wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you use it more like on Twitter. Like, low-key, I really miss him right now. Yeah, you're so being like, low-key about it. It's kind under of the radar. Discreet, under the radar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what I meant. Like, low-key, I, I really like One Direction, but I don't want people to right, know. Right, right. So that's, so that's what I kind mean. of an old term that's... Dumb, you can't say that's what I meant that after is, everything. That does... That is what I said. Do you know what turnt means? Turnt. Kurt turned a bad deed. <laughs> T-U-R-N-T. It's another prison term that means, hey, on the way out, I turned that light off. <laughs> By the way, if you are watching this in prison, we're not trying to offend you. <clears throat> hey, bro, did you turn that light off? <laughs> what was that? Who turned the light off? Yeah. <laughs> it's not a different way to say turned. Okay, turned. Wait, I'm gonna guess turned means you are turned off by something. No. Here's an example of it in a sentence. Last night I got so turned up. Excited? I got so turned up. <laughs> There's no other word to say. See, it kind of goes with mine. Hey, did you guys turn that light on? Yeah, that light went up. You got like jazzed, like. Jazzed? It means like you're so turned up. Like you're so yeah, it means excited. You're so turned up. Or <laughs> you might be like really high. One or the other. Okay. Okay, so it means you're high. Got it. I hope you're never turned up. <laughs> Do you know what lit means? Lit? Yeah, L-I-T. Um, that one's kind of along the lines of turn. Lit up, like excited? Oh yeah. Lit up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excited? No, turnt. And, no, turnt. turnt, and turnt? And Wait, no, but turnt can be like you're just like so pumped up. I've never like, been lit. One time I had two monsters and I was turned up. So I hope you guys like this video and getting to know my lovely parents. Let me know what your favorite part was or if you want more videos like this and what you guys want to see because I realize these videos are actually pretty easy to do and I want you guys to be able to get to know me and my family and my world and yeah. 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 Okay. Right. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Love you guys. Bye. Someone wanted to know if you guys can whip and nanny. So I'm going to put the song on. Wait, is there an actual what? dance that's really whip and nanny? Yeah. I haven't seen it. No, we're not going to do this. Oh, yes. Is that the one? Where... Oh, on to something. Go and do it for me. Now watch me whip. Kill it. Now watch me nene. Okay. Now watch me whip. Whip. Yeah. Watch me nene. Why me do it? Now watch me whip. Kill it. Watch me nene. Okay. Now watch me whip. Whip. <laughs> watch me nene. Can you hit the quan? No. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not how you hit the quan. Um, that's not it either. <laughs> Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this. Have a good night. Bye. Good night. <laughs> a merry little Christmas. Now you're recording.
recording, so I'm not going to say anything. <laughs>